Devil is a liar. <laughs> In life, we got a backup. Pretty much, I'm done with my skincare. I wash that mask off. Like, get ready, get right. Like, I feel good when I do skincare. You know, like, even though Mother Nature has just taken over. I also did my braids as always. Like, I actually braid my own hair, and I feel like. I braid my own hair and I feel like since I started learning like how to actually braid I've gotten better because these are modeless braids that I did well, I just want to say good morning Kuyamora. Like how are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling in this new year? Like how are you? Okay, it's not really a new year when you obviously do watch this but I mean since this is officially the first vlog It's still a new year, you know what I mean? Like compliments man compliments compliments so anyways let's just get started with the day because i really feel like i might take a lot of time right now i actually want to do bible study there's no cheating <sighs> switched off at six it's coming back at half past ten yeah so you need to understand like how long i've been waiting that's why i just decided to put a mask on and just like do my skincare and like waste time waste waste time Jay. just waste time but now i'm just like let me just do my bible study and wait until i can officially get my day started because i can't you can't this life I guess, I guess and as things stand I'm still waiting for electricity to come back because I really wake up so early these days and I just body clock obviously but I just truly feel like that's why like I woke up and just decided because I was like, let me just put a mask on and like push time because what else could I possibly do you know like that's why I just even decided to like take some time off and just do my skincare today because what else could I possibly do okay no to be honest like my bible study like i always have it every day but so even if electricity was here i was still gonna do it because i really feel like when i don't spend time with god like it really shows guys like i'm always when i don't spend time with god or start my day with god it shows dude throughout the day like i'm always irritated i'm always mad i'm always ugh, i'm fuming i'm just on edge i'm just anxious paranoid sometimes you know like it shows with all of that but when i actually do start with prayer and have like bible study and dedicate some time to god i end up being so calm like the call like I, I i end up i end up so being so calm guys like you see when god said i'll give you peace that surpasses all understanding he never lied like the way i've been feeling like ever since i've been so consistent with bible study and spending time with god i've been feeling so peaceful bro like nothing gets to me like that when you piss me off i'm a person who answers back guys like nya pendulana once i start speaking my words tend to be very harsh but i feel like now i'm really trying by all means to just work on that and like work on myself in general i feel like i'm just always a person well before like i said before um i'd always be a person who would be ready to fight bro like when you're about to speak to me you better speak to me properly like you better address me properly even now i still feel that way like i don't I, i'm i'm i think now i'm just more on like enforcing boundaries that i've made which i really feel like it's just important for you to just really spend time with yourself and like work on certain things you know like i just really don't like being the same person all the time like especially like if there's things that i don't like about myself I do believe in like reserving time and just working on those rather than just being that person of saying like I am the way I am deal with it I, I don't think I would like that if if I had to address a matter with someone and they told me that so it only makes sense for me to work on that as well because I don't like it you know one eternity later I really couldn't do like a quick intro because we in a rush and I must say that my sisters my sister's non-punctuality i don't know if that's a word but them not being punctual has rubbed off on me and this is a bad trait for the new year Ugh. today is saturday and we're about to go out i don't know where we're going exactly but knowing my sister and i chances are very high for us to end up in prom 
and yeah it's kind of okay like the weather's okay to be honest i'm wearing um i'll show you guys my outfits at a later stage i'm wearing this thing this thing what's this thing and i kind of taped it but yeah um you go up yeah that's what i'm wearing like a crop yeah thing and then um my adapter is giving me problems so i borrowed my sister's adapter so that i can film content for you guys because if it wasn't for that i wouldn't be able to vlog and i've been postponing getting a new adapter because that means i'd need to get a new memory card and that is giving me chest pains my boy but nonetheless um i hope you guys do enjoy this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll probably give you guys an update on where are we going actually actually this is obviously gonna be a short vlog because <laughs> but also um please do check out my tiktok for like i'm trying to fix myself please do check out my tiktok for like more content today i feel like i look cute this is the first time where i feel like my makeup is actually sitting please do check out my tiktok for other vlogs and yeah let's get the going let's get the going There's one street, ne? Where's the street? Where's the street? Is this one or the next one? Mama, not this one, the next one. Yeah, the next one we cheat. Not this one. So yeah, MK Uti and Ufunu who broke her. The owners are crossing first. And I told her we're coming to future, so I wanna see what she's gonna say. No, it's not this one. It's the next one. Okay, so yeah, um, I want to see what Yuna has said. Yeah, yeah, turn right onto Glenny.
We back from best friends. How was the food? How was best friends? It was good. It was good. She said it was good. Yeah. We didn't even finish that pizza. We just had like half and left the other half. And aye, aye. We are in Bromfontein, my babes. Yeah, as you can see, yeah. Guys, we are at Venice Club after a great day. Hey guys, um, right now it's like 10 because electricity just came back but my sister and I like got home past 9. Um, but yeah, there was load shedding and electricity just came back. I need to go wash my face in fact. But I want to tell you guys the craziest thing about this day. <laughs> Sometimes I forget this blind is here, hey? Hey. Okay, cool. Let me tell you guys a quick story. So the thing is, me and my sister, like, this day was all over the place, guys, because I couldn't even, like, vlog properly in between. But we went to Great Day, and Great Day, and we left to go to Bannister, which was where I showed you guys my outfits and stuff like that. And then from Bannister, we went to check out Drama, but then Drama wasn't, like, our vibe like that, which I feel like... I just knew me and my sister were going to end up in Brahm. I don't want to lie. And then from Drama, we left to go back to Great Dane. Like, because we already paid for it, bro. Like, you know what I mean? We even had the tempe. And we also have a stamp here. This is how you know. It grew with Steve Rogan. But, like, I don't, I don't intend on being that this year. I don't want to lie. Like, also, like, why did we not know about this cotton fest, Shandis? Like, I'm so shook because today's cotton fest, no one spoke about it on Twitter. Like, J, the advertisement wasn't like, you know, like the usual cotton fest. It's just like, Okay, we wake up on a random Saturday. How? Stulu Pulu today's cotton fest. How? Ganjan manji. I'm really shook, I don't wanna lie. But let me get into the deep details, guess I know. So we ended up leaving drama to go back to Great Dane. Great Dane is full to the limit. Like it's packed guys. No stress about that. Like Nje Wukwelet, but like I feel like Nje Ibram is just like, I don't know, like we just need a new spot. And I know I've been saying this since last year, like we need a new chill spot. <laughs> There's no places to chill in and enjoy it, guys. Like, oh. oh. <sighs> now let me get to the interesting part. We leave drama to go back to Great Day. Nah. I didn't really film at this time because I was just like, you know, it's whatever. Like the way it was so packed, you can't even like pass through the crowd. Like you literally cannot pass. It's that full. So we stand by this door. Now I'm standing closer to the wall. I don't know if you guys understand, but like closer to the wall by the bar. That's where I'm standing. So as in Milan Jalo, there's a bouncer who is like across me. And then there's people passing in the middle of us. How? 
my sister's standing right in front of me at this point because it's that packed like we have nowhere to like chill nowhere to go yeah well <sighs> dude this guy guys pops out of nowhere listen to what i'm saying this guy pops out of nowhere now as he pops out of nowhere this guy starts asking us like what are you guys drinking or like what do you guys want to drink i think that's what he was asking us he was like what do you guys want to drink and we there like dude we can't hear you so at this point because the music was loud and we're like we can't hear you so he tells my sister my sister like can't hear you he st he he starts asking us like what do you guys want to drink yeah well and now it's like we both can hear him now i kid you guys not once he just finished that question yeah he's like like what do you guys want to drink like jay once he finished that question before we can even say Nwe, this bouncer does does this bouncer not wrap him up guys you yo, yo. this bouncer starts smacking this guy like Poof. next thing this guy's drink spills yeah well it's a leg and i give i'm there like and it, it like spills guys like for real like it, it, it's like chaotic game man she like kind of thing was like what is going on yeah well i'm there like what is going on because I'm lost, you know, like in the lost also in Zagaland. My sister's asking, like me and my sister looking at each other like what is going on? And when we look at this bouncer, guys, this bouncer is serious. He has that face like I will oh, my face is so oily. I applied oil, but I'm about to sleep early. So anyways guys, I just washed my face. But anyways, anyway. I think I'm just going through like serious skin irritation this side. <sighs> this bouncer has this face like i will beat you up my guy like i'm gonna beat you up like i'm gonna move you so at this point me and my sister are shook dude like you know that emoji that shocked emoji that's literally how we are like we puzzled looking at each other like and then yeah well so because the thing is guys like this guy keep saying like what do you drink what do you drink and the thing is we didn't like immediately when this guy finished his sentence that's when this bouncer beat this guy up bruh and i was like what's going on you know what i mean like you can imagine guys how chaotic this looks because great dane is packed i don't know if you know great dane but great dane is packed so now you can imagine like when zagala and manj you know what i mean me and my sister looking at each like we're not even speaking dude we shook we're looking at each other like oh, what's up like like what's going on kind of thing yeah well how <sighs> la payana my sister starts asking me like what's up like like okay we ended up moving from the whole situation very like we just moved away like okay we just moved la payana as all of this is happening my sister starts asking me would like what just happened i tell my sister what you do it definitely has to be god like i feel like god just intervened there because this gent i suspect that he was coming with like something j imishi mishi you know what i mean like I, I really feel like this gent was like not that i feel i feel like this gent was like up to was about to do something because I was just telling my sister would do it it's definitely a thing with god into because i don't think this bouncer even heard you know what i mean this bouncer guys was a bit far for me because people were able to pass so i don't think like the music is loud i don't think like the bouncer even heard but i feel like immediately when like if it was a thing with Velik, Dala from Gumshai, he would have beat him up by the time this guy got there but immediately when this guy completed his sentence guys this bouncer beat him up like they're like what is that? i'm still sure given now like i'm still trying to process like what i'm telling my sister that dude this definitely had to be god because like this has to be god you know like the several i think the reason why i said that is because that wasn't like the first incident that i felt like god had intervened there's several other stories guys that i could tell you guys about like a lot more where i'm just like i know for sure god was there you know what i mean like several others guys anyways so i tell my sister would say dude this is definitely like god intervening like i it can't be dog it can't be my sister was like yeah you're right like maybe the guy is the guy who's always up to 
like no good or maybe he was about to do something or maybe he's just the type who always like maybe drags um woman or something like that like that's what she was saying she's like because we were both confused guys like like we were both confused Uti. like we were guys i swear we were so puzzled like it just felt like i don't know bro like the holy spirit just activated in this bounce and he just beat this nigga up and i was just like you know sometimes guys i promise you like when you pray dude like sometimes just change your posture and pray hey like don't speak about prayers of like god bless me with this thing there's like other things that you need to pray for do you need to pray for the spirit of discernment the holy the holy spirit has given us nine gifts guys in total and i feel like we just need, all need to explore all those kind of gifts for sure but i really feel like in as much as that is a thing like pray for other people as well guys like i saw this other woman's tweet that, and what she had said like pray for other people like the people that are going to deliver the blessings that god needs them to deliver them like pray that they're actually in the right space in the right mindset to actually do that and at the same time pray guys for protection and when you pray for protection pay for people to protect you when something is about to happen i kid you not like i think that today like about to do something i don't know what it is but he was about to and, I, and god said not with my children try somewhere else not with my kids forget that not with my children what you think you're doing god said forget about that like go play somewhere else go to your own playground do not play with these anointed ones i really wish i captured that for you guys to actually see like what made me shook like why am i so sh but i'm shook <laughs> but like right now i'm laughing there but like you know like god just has a crazy way of intervening when he just senses that you are about to be in danger like when he just senses good in yoga moshagala god just has a crazy way of intervening and he always uses people the same way that he's meant to protect you he does the the same thing to actually deliver your blessings that's why i'm saying like guys when you start praying today tonight change your posture in praying don't pray for yourself your whole existence is not about you even what god has ordained over your life it's not about you like yes your life is going to change for the better don't get me wrong but it's not about you and i feel like the more we understand that as people the more life will start making sense you, you understand like i think that is why i'm saying like try by all means man to actually know your identity in christ because everything just starts becoming clear like I, I, I can't explain it but i feel like the more you spend time with god guys listen to me like this is your reminder to actually spend time with god and me spending and me saying spend time with god is not me saying pray for two minutes no sure prayers included but like dedicate time out of your day set aside like an hour or two and open your bible and read do bible study listen to sermons like don't be distracted bro oh leona is calling me one eternity later leona just video called me because she's at cotton fest and she wanted me to see okay maluma's performance of yeah okay Malum cool cat's performance he was performing glee and my girl said dude i don't want you to miss this she just video called me to feel like make me feel like i'm there as well young god and that's a love language me <laughs> but anyways guys hey, like i said what i said but today it shook me like the way this day ended in and gaba shook because you hey guys there's a lot of things happening yo there's a lot of things that happen out there bro like <laughs> I think today also just made me realize like the importance of thanking god when like things don't happen your way or like when a door shuts closed bruh or when you just get rejected i promise you like it sucks in the moment but it's like bro like god is such an eternal god he knows he knows if he had opened it i don't know life is just beyond me at this point i but i hope that you guys did enjoy the vlog please don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'm gonna go sleep because now it's like 11. so yeah um i hope you guys did enjoy this vlog please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video i can't believe leona just video called me to show me okay but like ah.
Anyways, um, shopping guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. And also check out my TikTok for more content. Period. Good night, guys. Love and light. God bless. Bye.